we all know these headband wigs can start to look the same so give me color give me texture give me volume and i can create magic her given hair is having their sale and you can save up to 50 dollars off using the code hb sale so don't delay but let's get into the slay so because this unit has been processed it's been lifted and dyed i wanted to saturate the hair and i'm going in with the aussie miracle curls conditioner because i'm going to apply a generous amount of conditioner so as to start co-washing the hair i'm applying heavy amounts to each section using a little bit of water to help distribute and thin out the conditioner so that it coats every strand as you can see here there'll be excess dye coming off the hair so definitely keep that in mind this bright vivid color is expected to rinse off so don't be alarmed and make it on your fingers now the curl definition on this unit is a little bit more relaxed than what you've seen me do in the past and i did get a bit of shedding just to keep it real Now this is how the unit looks after you air dry it. Again, this is not a super tight and coily pattern, but it has a very distinct look to it. So the first thing I wanted to do in sections was go through and detangle the hair using this detangling brush. Now I wanted to define the curls, so I thought the best way to do this was by using this cream pudding by Aussie, again using everything from one brand. And this is a little bit of a thicker kind of like gel cream kind of consistency. And so I applied a generous amount to this section and then I'm going to go in with that detangling brush and just really work it through the hair. Now I maneuvered the brush how I always do and so again you're not going to get that super tight and coily look. And that's not how it's advertised on the website so we're all good. And I'm going to do this in small to medium sections across the entire headband wig. Now I probably should have dialed back on the amount of the cream pudding that I used on each section. It could have probably weighed the hair down a bit and it took a long time for this to dry. So the cream pudding isn't going to perform the same as it would if it were a conditioning milk. So it's a little bit heavier so you don't have to be as heavy handed. Now I noticed as I was detangling the hair, I did get quite a bit of shedding. The hair did go through an extensive amount of processing and you know, it was dyed. So again, that could contribute to the shedding that we see. It was a bit more than I am accustomed to because again, this is a headband wig, not a lace frontal wig. Now you guys get to see a peek at the inside. You have three combs at the front. Now my hair foundation was all crazy. It was like smooth in the front, braids in the back. You know that's just how we want to do and i adjusted the headband so that it sits closer to the very front of my hairline because i want to do a better job of like representing how you can wear these headband wigs if you don't want leave out if you don't want your hair exposed i did adjust and insert the combs again i'm being very gentle about doing so but again you do not have to use the combs if you don't want to So the hair is not completely dry at this time and so the volume look that you're going to get is greatly reduced and so if you're someone who doesn't like crazy volume perhaps you can you know co-wash your unit put a little bit of product and this is what you'll get and again i'm putting on this headband bringing it a bit closer to the hairline so you guys can get you know sort of a, a look a feel of how it may look if you decide to wear it in this manner Now I knew I needed to go in and volumize this look. Again, I'm dealing with hair that's not completely dry. So I took this paddle brush and just started going to work. I did a little bit of detangling, a little bit of raking just to volumize it, but you can take it up a notch, which you guys will see me do a little bit later. Again, you guys can take advantage of the sale. Use the code HBSALE. It's going to be going on until October 26th. So if this unit or any other style interests you on the Her Given Hair website, definitely check it out. Now, in the spirit of jazzing things up, adding a little razzle dazzle, I wanted to go in and wear this animal print headband i actually don't like this print this is like my least favorite but i know people love this but it looks really good with the red color so this is a look
And to be honest, this is a colored headband wig, so I would have appreciated if the face framing highlights were a little bit more consistent. They seem a little like blotchy and you know inconsistent around the entire unit so that is something that i hope that they work on so they're not as blotchy now with this i didn't want to do intricate styling because i want this to be super beginner friendly so i was going through the motions showing you guys you can wear this in like a fine apple sort of like an updo just make sure you adjust that headband so it covers the black band which you use to attach and secure your unit And her giving here actually sent over this printed wrap and I wanted to kind of use it. I really like how I tied this. Again, this is style inspiration. You can definitely do sort of like an updo on those super lazy days. Get more creative with your scarves and keep the hair super low maintenance because you do have that as an option. Okay, you can make this as effortless as you'd like. Now, how do we feel about it? Definitely keep it real with me. What are our thoughts? Again, I'm just going through the motions, not really like slaying it. Now I wanted more volume. I wanted to see how volumized this could actually be. So I went back in with that paddle brush and had a little bit more fun. Again, the hair is kind of like drying down. So you get a better sense of how much you can maximize the volume on this unit. Now I was thinking about a low ponytail. Now work with me here. This was super simple, super easy because the hair was like slightly damp. It worked out perfectly and you wanna secure the ponytail real good at the back, make it a low ponytail, and I just feel like it looks so good. Again, the length on this, the volume is everything. And again, I'm adding that animal print sort of headband, you know what I'm saying? If you like this look, it's everything. Again, it looks great with the red, you know, I put on the red lip, we're giving vibes, okay? Love this, and if you did like a, a low side ponytail, that could also be a look. I was just trying to paint a picture for y'all, okay? Oh, and my hoop earrings are listed in the description box, so you ain't even gotta ask twice this. The hoops are in the description box. Now, after taking out the ponytail, I wore the hair down, and the curl definition is not as defined. This may be a look for some, and I honestly think if you were to do like a braid out, or you were to do like wand curls on this, it would be insanely gorgeous. But again, I'm just trying to keep it super simple. And so I was considering doing another very easy updo, just doing like a ponytail on top. And then I'm gonna go back in with that wrap because I felt like I could do a little bit more, you know? You know how a style, you feel like you can continue with the style inspo because it's just, the hair is, is taking you in to a place and you just, you wanna explore all of it. If you're into color, this is definitely a look that you should check for. Again, there's a sale going on right now where you can get $8 off $100 purchases, $20 off $200 purchases. And again, this goes up to $50 off. So it depends on the total value. I have all of the information in the description box, but again, it's code HB sale. Thank you so much, Her Given Hair, for sending this unit over. It is gorgeous. Just work on, you know, the color, the dye, as well as the shedding. Definitely subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, keep it with me in the comments, share this with your homeboys and your homegirls, and I hope I see you in the next one.